Howdy everybody, Keith Warren here and SCI asked us to make a video for them uh, to help protect the future of the tar. And uh, what we need is if you're a hunter and you're watching this video, the people over New Zealand Department of Conservation wants to go annihilate thousands of these guys and that sucks. It's not even based upon science and we need your help. There's a link in the description below. Click that link and just sign the petition. That's all we're asking you to do. And you'll see how come I'm so passionate because out of all the hunts that I go on, Hunting for a tar is about as good as it gets. And so this video, I want you to take a look and you'll see why I love tar hunting so much. Previously on Keith Warren's Hunting and Outdoor Adventures. This right here is worth the long plane ride over here. Folks, this is the North Island in New Zealand and it's clear as a bell and it is absolutely spectacular up here. Hunting and Outdoor Adventures begins right now. This is a unique hunt that you can't do anywhere else in the world. You can't hunt Himalayan tar anywhere else in their natural habitat like this but New Zealand. We use helicopters to get up and down and around in the mountains because we've found that hunting solely on foot for chamois and tar can be extremely dangerous. It's very, very steep. There's a lot of, at times there's a lot of ice and snow, very treacherous. We find that it's a lot safer, a lot more practical using a helicopter for access. If you were to do a straight foot hunt for a chamois and tar, you'd have to allow 10 days. One, the weather. Two, to be able to spot the animals and get in a position where you could hunt them. It's extremely difficult. You may not even get one in 10 days, especially if the weather's a bit dodgy or the animals are all up high. And then when you do get one without a helicopter, the chances of getting down to them in a lot of this country is pretty remote, especially where a lot of the big animals are. We're gonna drop off and see if we can get in a position to spot them from there. Typical shots when you're chamois and tar hunting range from probably 50 to 300 yards. Often the animals will be moving, heading back down toward the bush line. So you've got to be prepared to take quite fast shots and you've got to be prepared to take shots that are a little awkward. The country is very steep, so you're going to be shooting uphill sometimes, shooting downhill sometimes, and as again I say, the animals are going to be moving. I don't see him. I don't see him at all. He's up there on that face. He's up. He's okay, up there okay, on, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, on yeah. that face. I see him. Keith, he's going up across that snow chute. When he comes up, goes up and across. All right. We'll see if we can take him. It's 200 yards. I just ranged him. It's nice, Keith. That's a great ball. Well done, brother. <laughs> the gun's still on, man. Yeah. Thank Excellent. you. Good gosh almighty. How is this for cool? <laughs> I would have never in a million years thought I'd ever be on the top of the Alps doing something like this. This is pretty cool. Told you to be cool, Keith. <laughs> Welcome to New Zealand. This is the South Island, New Zealand. And this right here, my friends, is Shane Quinn. He is the daddy of all daddies when it comes to doing this. He's dialed in, not just on the South Island with the chamois and tar, but also on the North Island with the biggest red stag on the planet. So we'll have a telephone number coming up in just a little bit. Make sure and write it down if you're ever interested in coming on, not just a great hunt. Look at that, look at that bird right here above us. That's a kia, that's a mountain parrot from New Zealand. Look at that, they're not too scared, are they? So now Shane has called for Brian to come pick up himself, and he's gonna leave me and the cameraman up on the mountain. They're gonna go retrieve the tar Holy smokes! Shane is down there trying to recover the tar. It fell down, there's a river down at the bottom underneath all this frozen ice, a giant waterfall. After we take an animal, you look where it's fallen and decide the best way to recover it. Sometimes we can fly straight up to it with the helicopter, hook a short rope on and pull it out. Other times we've got to put a long rope on the helicopter, got to get on the end of the long rope, fly down to the animal, hook it up and fly it back up to a high point where we can get it on a short rope and, and I can get back in the helicopter. A lot of people say I'm crazy going down to pick up a chamois or a tar on the long rope under a helicopter, but I'd 100 times rather do that than have to climb down an ice face or a rock face using crampons, an ice axe or a rope trying to get an animal at the bottom because that's just so dangerous in comparison. One slip and you're dead. <laughs> I never thought I'd ever be able to do this! 
<laughs> and if it wasn't for Shane Quinn's insistence, I wouldn't be here right now. <laughs> Good gosh. He's very, very old. He's probably in excess of 13 inches, but I'm guessing he's between eight and nine years old. Looking at the growth rings, you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and he's probably in his nine and a half year. Really? Yeah, so this is a very old, mature bull. Nine and a half years of yep. living up in this godforsaken country. My God. It's amazing, isn't it? That's amazing. And how heavy do you think he is? Well, in prior to the rut, he would have probably been 300 pounds. Now he's probably 250, 230. He's a giant animal in yeah. the hair. This is the time of year. I know you start hunting tar when, in March? In March we start hunting but tar. The, and that's the beginning of the fall down here in New Zealand. But right now he's wet because he fell in that, that yeah. crevice with that waterfall down there. Didn't if, he? if, if he wasn't wet, his hair would be standing up probably six or eight inches tall. Um, he's got probably 12 inch hair on his, on his mane. He's a fantastic trophy. The people in New Zealand, Love Americans, your dollar goes a long way down here, and this is an adventure I would recommend to anybody who loves big country up in the mountains and uh, loves a great adventure. Uh, there are a lot of hunting outfitters in New Zealand, no question about it. Go to SCI shows in Dallas or Reno or Houston, whatever, there are New Zealand outfitters everywhere. But folks, there's only one Shane Quinn. There's only one guy that does it all, and Shane does it all. And that's the reason why I will be back a fourth time. It may not be next year, but I'll be back. Talk about making a memory. I mean, I sit there, I can, I don't know how many days I've hunted since then, but I can look back, I can see the animal coming off the mountain. I think that was so cool. So I could not wait to go back, which I did. And I went to the South Island, and this time Gary Herbert was with me. Gary runs a great big hunting operation over there, and uh, he knows exactly where the big tar are. There are people that say you're out of your mind to want to go on a tar hunt. I'll tell you what, it is the most weird feeling because you realize, you know what, if you had to walk down from where they just put you, not only would it take you a long time, I don't know if you could do it. Hang on to your seat because you're gonna like this one. And the Himalayan tar was built like no other animal I've ever seen before. like people to see the country, and that's important to us. And we want people to feel the mountain, feel the experience. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Right up in that snowy basin. Yep. Two females. Here's the big one. Yeah, yeah, okay. Coming down here. My father's on great right? road. Okay. I got gotcha. you. I gotta get my breath. For me, if a guy comes to New Zealand and doesn't hunt a tar, he's probably missed out on the most unique, exciting hunting adventure, not only in New Zealand, but also in the world. This is the time of year that they develop the real long manes. They're with the females, you've got a little bit of snow in the mountains, and it's a really good time of year to be hunting there. All right, he's looking. 25 yards. Okay, he's looking to the left, right? Yep. All right, here we go. When you're ready, you take him. I got him. 
You want it? Yeah. Come on, buddy. Come on. What do you think of that? Woohoo! What do you think of that? Come on there. Woo! Welcome to the Alps of New Zealand, folks. Gary Hebert, and let me tell you what, he has got. We got him. <laughs> we got a big old dead tar up there. I can see blood on the snow. We're shooting a hundred. 130 grain bullet out of a 270, and this is the lightweight hunter. I can see blood right there on the snow. And this is amazing. These tar live in the most unbelievable rugged country ever, ever, ever. All right, the good news is we can get to this bad boy. <laughs> All right, folks, it may take us a little bit to get up there. He's only about, what, 80 yards? It may take a, a bit to get up there, but we're gonna show you what a big tar looks like. That's a good one, ain't it? That's a damn good one. <laughs> <laughs> that go right. See what we got. Yeah, buddy boy. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Welcome to the Alps of New Zealand, folks. Time, my friend. Holy smokes! Put it there. Well, look at that, Woo. folks. I'm telling you what. I know you in the United States don't get to see these very often, except on TV shows, or unless you come to the South Island of New Zealand. But I'm telling you, this right here is a daddy o tar. This is a big one. Now, Gary, tell them. I mean, the difference between a good one and a really good one is how much. Tell them how big this one is. Looking at him, he's going to be probably 14 inch which is like really, really good. Like a, a nice, a really nice representative would be about 11. So that gives you an idea where you are. Oh my gosh, and honest to goodness, I am not a trophy hunter. <laughs> I, I'm just a lucky hunter. Well, you're a trophy hunter today. <laughs> and look at the big mane on him. Oh, this that is- That is freaking amazing too, this, eh? This is beautiful. I mean, there's blood all over the snow, all the way up the mountain here. And this guy was made for TV. I mean, he was, he literally, he was made for TV, you know? He could have gone the other way. What do these guys eat? Well, they dig underneath the snow. See all this grass and yeah. stuff, and then they nibble on this. They eat a lot of the lichen off the rocks, and... Uh, I thought maybe they ate rocks. <laughs> no. This yeah, guy. He is awesome, though. I hit him. And he's really old, Keith. Like, he's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He's 10 and a half year old, so that is awesome. That's a monster. Yeah, well uh, done, mate. Okay, well, Gary. Set him up for some pictures. Yeah, we'll do that, but right now, folks, I want you to write, get a piece of paper, write down this phone number. If you don't have pencil and paper, go to my website. We're gonna have a, the whole show plan 24 seven on the website. Contact Gary, he's in the South Island down here in New Zealand. Give him a telephone number and a website. 1-866-742-5378 or nzhuntingsafaris.com. And when you come down here, I mean, there's multiple species to hunt. It's just not tar or chamois a red stag, he's got like all kinds of stuff you can hunt in the prettiest country you can ever imagine, right here on the South Island of New Zealand. All right, let's go ahead and uh, get this guy propped up. Yep. Folks, don't go anywhere because we're gonna have a lot coming to you from the Alps of New Zealand. <laughs> God, dog, this one's awesome. I think what I've enjoyed this week hunting with Keith is his attitude in general. He just said to me, oh Gary, we want to come to New Zealand. We've heard a lot of good things about you and your place. And we just want an all-round experience. Well, that all-round experience led into me shooting an exceptional stag, shooting an amazing tar, and just in general, harvesting some really nice trophies. So don't forget, we need you to click on the link in the description below. And all you gotta do is sign the petition. Thanks for watching. <laughs>